Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. All right, guys, this is enough. I need your attention for a minute. Got a very special guest Whoa. here with me today. That's right, he don't even need an introduction. Oh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now listen, Kareem is gonna be working with the team as a special advisor over this season, all right? That means individual attention for each of you. But before we go out here and win this game, I wanted him to say a few words to you guys. Take it away, big dog. Thanks, coach. I've been watching what this team has done to start the season, and there's a lot to like. But one of the main things I wanna to stress to you guys to each one of you is how important it is to find balance in your life. Being a professional athlete isn't easy. So you've got to remember to explore the world off the court every chance you get. Go to the library, read a book, educate yourself, and it will make a difference for you on the court. I promise you that. Yes, believe me guys, that's some great advice, all right? I urge you to take everything this man is saying to heart. He ain't a six-time champ for nothing. Balance is key. So with that being said, let's focus up. Let's go out here and let's win this game, okay? Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. <sighs> Listen, AI, you know, I've heard your story. I know where you've been. You have all the potential in the world. But perhaps more than anyone else on this team, you need to be careful not to get caught up in all the off-court distractions. Don't worry about things like fame and branding. Those will come. Focus your time and energy on expanding your mind and worldview. The key to being a true champion is not just physical, but mental and spiritual. Basketball will end one day, but life continues on. I mean, I, I hear you and I appreciate that, but <laughs> Kareem, I'm still a rookie. You know, I still got plenty of time to think about these things later on, right? You know, life comes on you real fast, AI. Let me leave you with a quote, something for you to think about. The mind is a gemstone that transforms the body from a circle to a ring. Huh. Deep, ain't it? Yeah. Keep your mind on the court, boy. Off that phone. Let's go, Kareem. Uh, th okay. th thank you. All right. Hey, I just want to say I really appreciate you coming in and talking to my team. Thank you so much. Hope I can be of some help. Yeah, it means a lot. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today, your boy is a starter. Today, I'm out here getting advice from greats, goats. It's time for me to step into the starting lineup and do what I do. Put on the show. That's right, man. The fans love me, man. The fans got so much love for me that they willing to even sit in the dark and watch me come out on the court. That's how much they love me. But look, the game has started. They got two points, I ain't gonna lie. And I ain't gonna lie about us not scoring on the first possession down. But guess what? I'm cutting to the corner. Lillard sees me open and you know it's cash. Stop playing. Best build in the game. Slash and shot creator. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say it again. Slash and shot creator, boy. I don't gotta dunk on nobody. I don't gotta show nobody how strong I am. I can finesse him with the jump shot. The jump shot is so smooth, man. But check it out. The cheese is still here. I'm setting them phantom screens for D Little as he gets that three. And I know what y'all are thinking. iPod is 12 to 4. What are you doing? What, what difficulty are you playing on? Because this can't be Hall of Fame. Well, guess what? If Aaron Gordon coming down splashing threes like that, it gots to be Hall of Fame, right? I mean, come it's Aaron Gordon, my G. Like, why is he scoring threes? in a game and not slashing like he's supposed to be slashing you know what i ain't gonna say nothing about his injury all i'm gonna say is that man should not be out here making threes like that but shout out to my boy d lillard man getting the bucket man getting the hoop and the harm but oh the first quarter is almost over i know what y'all saying ipod the first quarter went through in the flash what's going on i'm playing on five minute quarters but guess what the five minute quarters don't help you it's only been about two and a half minutes, and we barely scored any points. We only up by one. I don't know what happened, but I see my man over there. Nice little layup right there. I shouldn't have passed out a shot. Should have been a little bit smarter with that play, but I decided why not, man. I mean, 2K obviously took out the blow buys, but all they did was just replace that with a couple uh, pass out of shot enemies. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, back to that uh, slash and shot creator out here getting them fans, doing what I do, making it work. 
Now we're up five right now, man. But I don't know how he missed that jump shot. I was nowhere in sight. But you know what I'm about to do. Teardropper. Yes, that's right. I'm still working on my badges. You know what I'm saying? Difficult shots is on gold. That's my only maxed out badge right now for my primaries. And I'm still working, man. But I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe I'll just answer him here. Why not? Well, uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about it. I mean, that'd be amazing. But uh, more importantly, DA, my teammates have made things so easy for me. You know, they, uh, they supported me, made me feel like I was part of this team since day one. You know, and I really wouldn't have gotten out of this kind of start if it wasn't for them. So, you know, they're the real ones. Well, we've heard people talk about selflessness with you, and now we see it in action. Guys? All right, so I'm still working on my team chemistry, guys, but let me show you guys a great defensive play here. I was in this dude mid, man. He couldn't get a shot off, but our transition offense isn't as great as I thought it was. There's still a lot of bumping going on. As you guys can see there, Damian Lillard passed me the ball terribly, and look at CJ McCollum. I think I'm getting sabotaged out here. I don't know if they, I'm still in their shine. You know, I just gave these dudes so much praise, yet they're trying me. They're literally trying me. Now, we are up by double digits. I'm going to remind you guys, this is what happens when you're playing Hall of Fame. I just got subbed out again. Yes, three minutes left in the third. And oh, guess what? At the start of the fourth quarter, sir, we are down. What What happened? I literally almost got a five-second violation because I was like, in my head, like, what the heck happened? But I see CJ in the corner. Yes, I passed it late because I don't trust him no more. Y'all seen what he did to me last quarter. But he he had to drop that three, man. If we don't start scoring now, it's going to be ugly, man. And, oh, I told y'all about Aaron Gordon. Yes, that was him. Hall of Fame Aaron Gordon out here doing shot maker moves and hitting threes. What is going on? But you know what? I ain't going to trip. You want to know why? Because I'm out here getting these cookies. It's all about these Nabisco Oreo and Chips Ahoy cookies. Yeah, I got my shot blocked, but it's all right. I got the bucket. That's all that matters. Now, we're down four points. And, oh, I told y'all about Aaron Gordon, right? Yes, Hall of Fame Aaron Gordon still hitting threes out here in these streets. Don't know what we're going to do. We're down 64 to 58. We only got about two minutes left, but, oh, guess what? Your boy can hit two. I'm not going to say it again. Best build in the game. There's many people that I know on YouTube that have somewhat of the same build, just different positions. I'm just going to go ahead and say my small forward is godly. But they're still out here getting these buckets. Ain't much we can do, man. All we can do is keep scoring, try to play as much defense as possible. Now, I don't know why, but Augustine was late, hand down, man down, and we're only down two points. Now, I could have got a steal right there. But, uh, yeah, 2K said uh, we're patching stills, we're nerfing everything, and now the animations I get are no longer catches. I get only tips now. But it's all good because the putback is what got me even more mad. That's right, I'm hot now. I'm steaming. We down two points, 21 seconds left. Who is the clutchest in the world? It, it don't sure ain't me. It's more like Damian Lillard. Psych! Because I'm getting into the rack! Now, all I can say is the reason why that happened is because Damian Lillard literally went on a tear. He just got to the foul line, just got foul line shots. And with the last play of the game, I wanted to help out, but I decided to slide back a little bit because you know how 2K do. You know, <laughs> if you ain't around, they're going to say, oh, you the reason you lost. And, and why would I probably want to be the reason? Y'all say I'm the reason in almost every video. But we're going to overtime right now, man. I hope I stay in the game. I am a starter. So if they don't put me in this game and we lose, somebody going to have to have to pay. I'm calling Ronnie tonight if I don't win this game. On oh God. Now, even though I got my takeover badge, man, I'm still a giving player. Now, I give a nice little pass to Aminu. Luckily, he finished. I had so much belief in that, man. I'm not usually the type of person to go ahead and believe in a CPU like that. But I'm going to believe in a CPU again as Damian Lillard hits the three. Listen, if there's one person that I could put all my money on in a time of need, it is Damian Lillard, baby. Now, we're up six. I'm holding on to the ball, putting a little dribble move on, spin. Hold up, see Aminu again. Let's get it. Tell Aaron Gordo you want to shoot them threes, huh? Well, guess what? We in the paint with it. Now, I know Amino only got eight points total, and he scored four of them in overtime, but it's all good. Now, I get to the basket. Nice floater. I told you I'm still working on teardropper, and I get the and one to go. That's right, Isaac. You okay? 
Because you are here fouling your boy. Now, I know a lot of people going to say, iPod, where the body at, iPod? Hey, man, listen, let me let me work with my hairstyles. The, the barber haircuts is free on 2K19. So just let me go ahead and have some hair for a little bit as Vooch gets that nice dunk. Now, we're still up. 40 seconds left in OT. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, man, Damian Lillard, he has no fear. He doesn't care about nobody else. He's going to get his. And I respect that. You want to know why? Because that's why we got the lead. And, oh, I got a steal. And guess what? I'm going to be selfish like Dame Lillard. I'm going up with the floater, boy. Got to get that tear dropper. <laughs> now, I am close to takeover as well. So, just to let you guys know, <laughs> it's coming soon. I'm about to hit the line. And hold up. Do you guys hear that? Is that MVP chance? Hold up. They're chanting MVP. What? I mean, I got 28 points and only five assists, but they're chanting MVP. Let's go. Take over. I'm going to hit that takeover one time, man. Got to get them my points. Hey, listen. Remember, guys, look up in that top right corner, man. You never know when you get takeover. But that's the end of the game, man. We're going to go ahead and hop into a cutscene. If you guys want to watch me live stream, watch me live stream on Facebook every single day. Make sure you guys check out the link inside the description. I'll probably put the link inside the comment section as well. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, like on Facebook. And uh, I'm going to see you all in the comments. What y'all think about this gameplay? What, what y'all think about Hall of Fame? I can't stand it. I Listen, my heart hurts. Hall of Fame is crazy. <laughs> AI, Griff standing by for an interview. Oh, yeah? Right, right, what's way. up, Griff? What's up, guys? AI. Come on over. Thank you. I wanted to ask about your teammates. How do you feel your relationship is with them now that you've had some time in the league under your belt? Man, the short answer is I couldn't do it without these guys. You know, the camaraderie in the locker room is great, and I feel like I've really grown as, as a player, as a person, you know, working with these guys. Um, hey, we all out there looking to win games, right? And uh, it's, it's so much easier to do that when we're all on the same page. Sounds like one big happy family. <laughs> I guess you could say that, yeah. You know what? Go ahead. Write, write that one down. That's good. <laughs> it's all right here. <laughs> all Thanks right. again for the time, AI. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Nicely done, AI. Get some rest. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.